हेलो एवरी वन हेज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज लेवन पॉइंट वन दिस इज फोर्थ क्वेश्चन चैप्टर इज एज ए ब्रो ऑफ क्लास सिक्स द क्वेश्चन इज इफ देर आर फिफ्टी मैंगोज इन अ बॉक्स हाउ विल यू राइट टोटल नंबर ऑफ मैंगोज इन टर्म्स ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ बॉक्सेस यूज बी फॉर द नंबर ऑफ बॉक्सेस सो हियर दे आस्किंग टू यूज अ वेरिएबल बी फॉर द नंबर ऑफ बॉक्सेस एंड दी हैव ऑल्सो मैंशन द क्वेश्चन दैट देर आर फिफ्टी मैंगोज इन ईच बॉक्स इट इज वन बॉक्स कंटेन फिफ्टी मैंगोज Now here, what we will find out? We will find out how many mangoes are there. Like, uh, if they have given the number of boxes, how many mangoes are there? We have to just find out the answer for that. So, number of boxes we don't know. In place of number of boxes, we have to use a variable b here, right? Now, let's write down what we know from the question. And uh, so, the first will be the variable b. It's given the question itself. But it's not compulsory that you have to always use b here. In in this question, they have given to use a variable b. In your exam, they may give, they may not give. In that case, you have to assume a variable there, and you can take any variable and make sure that you write this in a lower case. So let b be the number of boxes, and they have given the total number of mangoes in each box. So number of mangoes in box is fifty. So how to find out this now i uh, suppose you have not given the number of boxes how many have they have not given they are just uh, asking us to find out that it's kind of finding out the formula now let us assume that there is only one box if there is one box how many mangoes will be there it's 50 right because it's given the question that each box contain 50 mangoes so it will going to be 50 now suppose there are two boxes how many mangoes will be there it's 50 15 in each box 50 and 50 suppose there are three boxes this is the first This is second box and three boxes. Then each box will contain fifty, fifty and fifty. Now let us as let us make a pattern here. Suppose the one box there will be fifty. If there are two boxes, it will be fifty plus fifty, which is hundred. If there are three boxes, it will be fifty plus fifty plus fifty. You are adding fifty three times here. So suppose there are hundred boxes, you have to add fifty hundred times. Okay. Now if there is a one box, it is fifty, right? So I am going to just write down fifty into one. Right? Suppose there are two boxes. You're adding fifty two times instead of adding. We're going to multiply fifty by two. Now, when there are three boxes, you're adding fifty plus fifty plus fifty. Right? So you're adding three times fifty. So instead of adding it, we're going to multiply fifty into three because you're adding fifty three times. Now, suppose there are hundred boxes. You don't have to add fifty hundred times. Instead, we're going to use fifty into hundred. Now, if you see here, one, two, and three. These are number of boxes, right? Now, suppose I say there are um. Fifty boxes or five boxes, it will be fifty into five. Suppose there are ten boxes, it will be fifty into ten. So here the number of boxes is changing, and that is why we're going to use a variable b here. Variables value is not fixed; it keeps changing. It depends upon what value you want to put there. So the simple for it's a simple formula. It will be fifty into the number of boxes, and the number of boxes here is b. So let's write down that. So they're asking us to find the total number of mangoes. So total mangoes it will be total. Number of mangoes will be equal to. It will be a uh, number of mangoes in each box multiplied by number of boxes. That will be the formula. So number of mangoes in a box, which is fifty, is given the question multiplied by number of boxes into number of boxes. Now number of mangoes. How many number of mangoes are there? There are fifty mangoes, right? So we will get here. Fifty into uh, number of boxes is B. So let me rewrite this one. So this is equal to fifty multiplied by number of boxes is B. Or you can write down B into fifty. Anything it's completely only your answer will be same fifty B. So number of mangoes is fifty in a box and multiplied by B, which is fifty B. So that's it. B is changing here, and I hope it's clear. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.